Hello there. In today's session, we are going to design the footprint for our schematic that we had created in our previous session. So, in previous session, we had designed a schematic symbol for this IC seven four eight C four zero five one. Okay. So, this is the symbol that we had created in our previous session. Now, in today's session, we will prepare exact footprint for this symbol. Okay. So, this is the data that is given in the data sheet. So, I had snip the image from this data sheet and we will prepare the footprint for this ic so our ic will look like this after design okay so to to prepare the footprint for this ic let us create a new library and we will create a global library and the discussion regarding the global and project library that we had in our previous session so i will go for the global one and click on the global and now we want to save our library so i will give the library name as a library itself and save okay so our library is created and library is empty now we have to add the footprint so i will just right click on the library and create a new footprint now our footprint has sot package so i will give the name sot1 because i had already created for sot16 okay and our library has a smd component so i will prepare i will select the smd otherwise i will have to select the through hole component so smd and click okay so now our first footprint blank footprint is created and uh, this is the reference if you will select the schematic symbol it will automatically fetch the data from the schematic symbol that's why here we have reference and this is the sot1 that i have given the name okay now in the ic we know that we have lots of pairs and as per our ic we will have a 16th pairs add eight pairs on the one line and eight pairs on the second line okay and all the pair has a shape of rectangle so first i will add one pair which should have a shape of rectangle okay sometime you will get other kind of uh, shape for example you will have uh, a rounded corner sometimes so here in the data sheet we have exact rectangular shape so what we will do we will click on the pad and we will add the pad on the blank area so this is the our pad number 1 and first we will prepare for the pad we will assign the size and the pad number to our pad number 1 so first let's add the size of our pad we know that our pad has dimension of a 1.5 5.5 and 0.6. So our IC will locate vertically. Here we have horizontally. So our I location based on the vertical IC. This will be the X and this will be the Y. So X will be the 1.55. Pair size will be 1.55. The Y size will be 0.6. So after entering this data, we will press OK. And we want the exact rectangular pair. So I will select the rectangular pair. If you want oval, then you can select the oval. If you want circular, then you can circular. Okay, but for now we want a rectangular pad, so just select the rectangular and click OK. So our first pad is created. But here in this case we have total uh, 16 pads, eight here in the one side and eight here in the other side, and all should be numbered as per the data sheet. Okay. So see here, this is the one pad. and now if you want to create a second pad then you can just click here and place here this will be the second this will be third but see this here in the ic we have a specific clearance between the pins and between the other pins means there will be a two column of uh, total ic pins and uh, total eight rows so the clearance should be as per the data sheet so to add the pins as per the data sheet dimension we have to create the grid so first go to the grid and select the grid dimension as given in the data sheet we have 1.27 and 5.40 but in the grid there is a, all, all the grid are different so we have to create a custom grid so to create a custom grid we will change the dimension here in the use and define grid for the custom grid so see here here we have x as a 5.4 So I will enter here 5.4, and for the Y we have 1.27. So 
okay so i would enter 1.27 so grid is created now just press okay and see here grid is not automatically selected so we have to select by ourselves so this is the last one that we had created now this symbol we have created for the another grid so it is out of grid so what we have to do just control x and control control x and control v so it will be on the grid now this is our first pad now to add more pads just copy and paste control c control v again control v again control v control v four up to eight pads this is the seven pads and this is the eighth one now our ic has a different number of pads but here all the numbers are same so we are we have to change the pad number this is the pad number 2 this is the pad number 3 pad number 4 then pad number 5 so we have to enter all the pad number in the sequence as per the data sheet 6 and then 7 and then 8 footprint preparation is very simple just we have to take care about the grid if you will have a very good grip in creating the grid then it will be very easy for you now just create the selection and control c and control v to copy and paste the all the pairs so now we have 16 pairs all the sequence are 1 to 8 and now we have to define total 9 to 16 okay so again we are renaming the paid numbers paid number 9 paid number 10 paid number 11 this will be the 12 i am using currently keycard version 6 so if you are using the lower version uh, it may be possibility that uh, there will be a different kind of a pop up will there this is the pad number 14 this is the pad number 15 and uh, this is the pad number 16 okay so these are all the pads that we had created okay and now you can change the grid because all the pad should be as per the dimension now if you will change the grid there will be no change in the dimension of the footprint okay so we have relocated relocated the footprint and this is our designators now let us see some ics uh, standard ics which is available in built in the keycard see this ic this ic has a pad that we had already created and we had already uh, numbered all the pads and now see this all the other graphical lines here available in this so this is this line this gray color line or this yellow color line is for the cell screen if you will double click on the this yellow line you will found that this line is for the cell screen and this line is for the courtyard uh, why we are using the courtyard because when we are mechanically placing all the components either by manually or either by means of a automatic machine so if you will not take care about the courtyard then there may be a physical possibility that uh, all the component may get collapsed with each other means overlapping with each other so now let go back to the our library that we are creating here so this is sot1 that we are creating just double click on the sot ic that we are creating and uh, first select the front cell screen it will printed on the top side of the pcb so select the square and just create a rectangle shape here in the ic okay so simply we have created the cell screen for our ic now if you want to place a designator that uh, this is the pin number 1 then simply draw a small circle and relocate properly as per your convenience okay so this is see this this is our ic now save our footprint control s okay now if you want to add the 
courtyard to avoid the physical collision during the assembly and during the designing first select the front courtyard and then select the rectangle shape and just draw the courtyard here in this case i am just uh, showing how to create it but uh, whenever we are designing a complex boards at that time we have to follow the courtyard dimension as, as per data sheet but in this data sheet we does not have any courtyard dimensions so we just have to take care about the physical consideration so i am just preparing based on the random dimension okay so this is our uh, footprint that we are going we want to create now if you want to link this footprint to our previously prepared schematic symbol then what you have to do just go to the project that we had pre previously created and this is the symbol that we had added okay so if you want to add the footprint to our symbol then simply double click on the symbol and this pop up in window will be appear and here in the footprint click here on the library it will open the library currently i am using a double screen so it is open in another another screen now we have created this library and this package so simply double click on this package that currently we had created now press okay now the symbol and the footprint both are interlinked with each other okay now just simply uh, give the annotation to this ic okay uh, annotation and annotation and uh, let's remove this drc markers okay now go to the pcb and load our schematic see here our prepared ic appear here means both the symbol and the footprint are interlinked with each other okay so this is the session in which you learn about how to add the how to create the footprint and how to add or interlink the schematic symbol and the footprint okay thank you so much we'll meet soon in the next session